All right. <clears throat> so as you can see, we're sponsored by Monster. <laughs> Monster yeah, Energy. And Under Armour. And Under Armour. Um, and Adidas. Adidas. I don't know what else I have on, but... Express. Have some weird brands. Uh, House of Daka. It's a nice shirt. House of Dock. This shirt fits well. I like the collar. Yes. The Me too. I want to get more stuff by them. Um, Is it a large? Yeah, it's a large. But I like how the, the, co the, the neck collar fits. It's yes. like super big. Yes. Because I hate the super big freaking yeah. wide necks. It's... <laughs> Bro, that joint is annoying, but I just, some of them, sometimes I just wear the shirt. Uh, one shirt I wear to work, it's a Penn State shirt, and it's just massive <laughs> around my neck. It's just like, yeah, Whoa. that's I hate that because like especially me because I'm so freaking hairy. You don't like any. I just don't want it showing. Like if I if I want my hair showy, like I'm gonna unbutton like a shirt. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not that just was gonna. Me in Mexico, bro. I had remember at the wedding. <laughs> I had like three things in my... <laughs> Did you see KJ? <laughs> Yo, that's so much worse. But welcome to Two Peas in a Pod podcast. Um, I don't know if this name is going to stick, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I hey. feel like it's probably already been taken, um, but whatever. Maybe not. We're going to run with it for this episode, and then we'll figure it out as we go. Mm -hmm. um, and I haven't really even run the brief with you because I wanted everything to sort of be organic on the podcast. Yeah. Um, but no, essentially, uh, we'll we could start out by uh, by talking about music and stuff. Okay. Um, because yeah, as you guys know, my channel is a reaction channel. Um, we'll get into that later in the podcast. Um, so music is the biggest theme on the channel. So uh, I want to start out by talking about. Like, what have you been listening to this week? Is there anything that has, like, stuck out with you? Uh, yeah. Okay, so, recently, I think I, to I was talking to mom about this. I found um, King's Kaleidoscope, and I already knew them, because KJ, but K you know how when people gas something up so much, it makes you not want to listen to it right away, or yeah. not want to watch even a movie or a show? So I was like, he sh we showed the one song, The Prayer, and he was... He's Wait, like, this is the best song. I, I I don't mean to interrupt you. Yeah, but we didn't even introduce you. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, they. Have you mentioned me on your channel at all? Well, we've had like the a vlogs. couple vlogs. Okay. Yeah. But they definitely don't know you. Okay. So give like a brief introduction. Okay. I'm like his younger brother Nathan. I'm the youngest of four. I'm the the favorite child. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and we come from a musical family, so we all love music and we listen to music probably most of our day whether we're working or we're at home so this is probably like the perfect thing to talk about is just music yeah nathan actually listens to a lot more music than i do yeah um and i don't every time like i find a song and i show him he's like oh i already heard this you're late on it <laughs> yeah yeah and it'd be pissing me off but well yeah. the thing is we do the same thing though like when we listen to music if we get hooked onto something we'll listen to it for like a week straight and that's yeah it. or like two songs we'll listen to that only like, yeah i do that like, all the time sometimes like I'll listen to the same song on repeat all yeah. day. Yeah, I did that with, um, see, the thing is, the new King's Kaleidoscope, it's not even new, but the song I found, it's a minute long, because yeah. the song is sectioned off into two parts, and they're separated, so it goes into the second part, and I just listened to that for, I was listening to that all day, and it's a minute, so it's like, oh, Jeez, <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy, but that album I listened to, it's Beyond Control, it came out in 2016, and it's, uh, it's fire. But it's not like anything I've lis I usually listen to. So, yeah, that's the new thing. Okay. Yeah, I, I need to listen to King's K a lot more, but it's the same thing with KJ and everyone hyping it up. <sighs> yeah. No, they definitely are good, but them showing us a prayer, that is not a song you introduce yeah. someone to. Because, like, um, like, for me and you, I guess it's fine that they introduced it to us because we're music people and we understand the depth of, like, the lyrics and... But he never explained what he was going through, <laughs> during why he wrote the song. But the only hype he gave was, dude, he drops the f bomb. When have you heard a Christian, yeah. oh a Christian goodness. artist just drop the f bomb in a song? And we were like, we, I, we weren't even impressed with it. Yeah. Um, but now that I look back at the song, I'm like, okay, the song is very masterful. It's a masterpiece, and it's like, it's so deep. Yeah. Right? And but I could, I feel like it's one of those songs that you have to listen to by yourself. Yeah. 
and also it's so special to him like the writer it, it will never fully translate translate over yeah. it's one of those so personal songs you know? yeah no I get that <clears throat> um, but yeah for me I've been listening to uh, Kids See Ghosts a lot oh uh, yeah yeah um, specifically the Cuddy montage the very yeah. last song yeah. um, which is weird that it's even called that because Kanye's part is Fire. so good yeah. it's so good but I remember like when I was first diving into Kanye after he dropped Jesus is King yeah. I was like I was super into that album specifically yeah and I was listening to that on repeat all the time and then eventually I was like, all right let me just check out because everyone was just saying yo this su- this album sucks compared <laughs> yeah, to his I, old oh stuff my gosh. and weird. I never sat and listened to Kanye ever yeah I only knew like power heartless love lockdown yeah that's just crazy. like really big hits I didn't know I didn't know um runaway I literally didn't even know Runaway. I remember I showed you years ago, but you didn't really care that much. Yeah. But yeah, because the, the ding in the whole crowd. Yeah. Was really yeah. I remember I showed you that, but you didn't like get yeah. it. You didn't get it. That show, like, yes, that was crazy. But then, yeah, so I went back and I listened to all his stuff. Yeah. And I was like, dang, actually he dropped some crazy Genius, albums. And, but I remember like Kid See Ghost was released in 2018. Yeah. And I remember listening to that and I was just like, and I heard from someone, I was watching some reaction, and they were like, yo, Kid C goes is so trash. There was no excuse for that. Yeah. Um, and I was like, that's probably not that bad. And I listened to it yeah. just like once or twice through, mm-hmm. and I was like, dang, this actually kind of sucks. <laughs> 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 Except for Reborn, I liked the, uh, the chord. The... What song is the I'm one so on... Oh, the one, what are you talking about? I'm trying to think of the one song you only played from that. But that was like when you first listened to fourth it. Fourth Dimension, probably? I don't remember. It was probably Fourth Dimension. When you first listened to it, you were only playing like one song, and you were like, yeah, all the other songs are in it. It was probably Reborn or, or Fourth Dimension. Okay. Um, But then like a couple of months went by, I listened to it again, I was like, wait, actually, this is so good. This is a lot better. Yeah. Um, And then I listened to it a couple more times before then, and I was like, this is good. But then this week, I was listening to it, and I was like, dude, this is actually so freaking good. Yeah. Like, really good. And especially the Cuddy montage, um, just Kanye's part is so good. Um, yeah, I have to listen to it because I, I actually haven't listened to Kids He Goes. Before. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to what you showed me. But the thing is, you know it's good because when we're eating dinner, Micah does something that he hates, and we're eating dinner. It's me, my mom, Micah, and he's on his phone playing a song, <laughs> and Micah yeah, hates when I other do people do that. that. Like. Especially for my phone, because my <laughs> I don't know. If you should has, never play music. People, on your phone. I don't know if you guys have this problem, but I have an iPhone, and my speakers are like broken. I don't know how it happens. I it had to either be from the car. I don't think it's from the water, from like the steam from the shower. I think it's from the car and the air just blowing into it on the vent. I but I'm like I've never heard of anyone having as bad speakers as I do on my phone. Well, it speaking of worst. that, but since you mentioned that. And being in the car, yeah, I took mom's car to go to Walmart to buy this table. I literally just did this today, yeah. and it was so hot in the car. I blast the AC. I'm like, bro, why is it so hot? And the vents yeah. are closed. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is well, the, the one vent is broken. It's like you have to like get your fingers in there and try and finagle it. And then the other one, I like. The one on the left, yeah. I the one on the left, you literally had it straight down. Yeah, the one on the left, I hate when it blows in my face. So I, <laughs> this is so funny. I usually have it down because I, I sometimes I have shorts on, so I can feel it on my leg. But then I'll just open the window. Dude, that's so I, 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 I don't. I <laughs> I drive with the AC on and the window. <laughs> it's so dumb. But it's actually good. Have you ever done it? AC down window or AC on window? Yeah. Down. But like the thing is, like it I've done it. So much. I've done it before, and I was just like, "This actually is such a waste." For sure, but it's like better. you could do it in like seventy degree weather, but yeah. when it gets to like 80, 90 degrees, and you try that, it's just like you're just dying. Like you have to yeah, close that's the true. windows. I don't drive with the windows down there when it's ninety though. You can't. Yeah, especially here. The, oh. And yeah, we're in Jersey, so the humidity is really bad. People don't it's, get it. It's not as bad as like Florida, Florida but when we went to Maryland. That was bad. That was so bad. That was like, I didn't want to step outside. You were there for a week too, right? Yeah, whole, it was. It was 100 like every day. It was so the, humid. It, did, it didn't rain though. It didn't rain. It was so hot. I don't understand how people can live in that. That's why Florida, I don't know. But Florida, it rains every day. But I'm just like, 
the humidity, it's like, it feels like a weight is on you when you step outside. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, you don't, it makes you not want to do anything. Yes. Like, it's people, especially Katie, like, want to play soccer? It's like no. 80 and humid. It's like, no, <laughs> no shot. Dude, I don't know how, like, as a kid, I would go out every, every single day in the summer and play basketball. I don't know how I could do that. Yeah. Because I was a little freaking behind kid with just you passion. Just don't... Passion. Out the wazoo, bro. <laughs> bro, we don't care. Bro, that's what I realized is kids... They were just reckless. Jump down the stairs. Jump. Remember the story <laughs> yeah. of me jumping out the window? And I was, did you hear that dad talk about that? No. When he'd have to take the AC units out of the, when we lived in Mill Street, he had to take the AC units out of the window. And what they don't, the window would just be open. And dad said, <laughs> I would just jump out like face first dolphin dive and then run back around to the front. <laughs> What the heck? You Dude, freaking reckless. crackhead. But I think Elisha encouraged it, so that's why I did it. You're Elisha. a crackhead. Yeah. Um, that's what kids do. Just wild. Like, yeah. Just slide down the stairs on their butt. I can't imagine doing that now. Like I feel like that wouldn't be that bad. I don't know. Actually, no. <laughs> that yeah, that would kind of suck, yes. bro. I'd break my tailbone. You just so much more. Yeah. But, um, no, yeah, so the Kanye album, it was just like... It was so good, but it's so experimental. It's so different from like yeah. other types of music. Yeah. Um, and that kind of just like kind of stuck with me mm-hmm. because I'm just like, dang, they went with this experimental idea, and it would have been so easy for them to just stick to what they knew already and mm-hmm. what they've been doing and what other people are doing. Yeah. Um, and it would have probably been well more. Uh, it would have been received a lot more by like the general public rather than just like mm-hmm. really big Kanye fans or music fans in general who just sit yeah. down and really listen to it. Um, but yeah, so that that was like really interesting to me. Didn't did he that. write that album at the same time as like another one? Yeah, they yeah. Two albums at the same yeah. time. So this was at a time when um uh wait I forget exactly what oh this is um after he said the thing about um slavery being a choice oh yeah Uh yes and then got all this backlash Mm. and then sat and then in a month he created three albums one was um uh what's his name Pusha T um Dakota yeah that was Pusha T's Dakota I've actually never listened to it I need to listen to though because everyone says that's really good Mm. so he created that one produced it yay and then kids see ghosts in like a span of a month that's crazy. He did it in Wyoming. This guy gets motivation off of hate. Bro. And everyone's talking about him and hating on him. It's so crazy. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so <clears throat> that's kind of what inspired me. Um, remember I told you like a couple of days ago, I was like, I had the greatest idea. Yeah. And I was like, not going to tell you. Yeah. The thing is, I'll tell you the idea now, but the plans have changed. Okay. So I want to start off by talking about this hike that I went on. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd see I went on a hike on Sunday, an uh, Easter Sunday. Mike and uh, Molly on Instagram, go follow Yeah, me. just, <laughs> yeah. And Nathan's info will be down below as well. But, um, yeah, so I went on this solo hike, and normally I don't be doing things alone. I like to have other people accompany me. So, but this year I wanted to make it a point to do things alone, but I haven't been really living up to that at all. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'm going to just do this. And um, for the past two months, I've been, like, just, like, so off and out of it mm-hmm. um like just i would get home after work and just be in my room all day and i wasn't like talking to anybody or anything yeah. like that allergies make it worse too yeah, yeah allergies make it worse but it wasn't because of allergies it was just like yeah it was hard to um to talk to people because um we'll get into this like after this story we can break it down a little bit more but yeah. in terms of um my faith i've been going through a lot of changes with that and mm-hmm. exactly what i believe um, and it's, it's been hard to, you know, face mom and dad, you, mm-hmm. other people, yeah. um, just because of that whole situation. Yeah. Um, so I've been just down bad. <laughs> <laughs> I've been down so bad, but then, um, on Easter Sunday, I was like, all right, I'm just going to go on this hike. And, um, I just found, I was like so content doing the hike and I felt so good and it was just like dang I actually really needed this and it kind of just reset me and gave me some a lot more inspiration and like uh, uh, like what I wanted to do exactly because with my channel I've been I've actually been sick of doing reaction videos yeah um, because it's just like 
I feel like I'm so limited Mm -hmm. and I can't fully express myself and like be like really creative like people are watching these videos because they like this song or this specific artist and they just want to see how other people react to yeah it. exactly and it's like so like if i do an eden reaction like i have a set of subscribers who will just watch that or like mm-hmm. a jeremy zucker yeah. but then let's say i react to um i don't know just some some various artists that i haven't reacted to much yeah like i'm not going to get many people to watch that because they're not watching for me they're watching for the song yeah. or for that artist yeah, it's like reacting to Circa. Who's gonna watch that? Yeah, exactly. Even though, Besides, you know, like really big Circa fans. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, um, and that was just like, I was kind of just really tired of that. Um, and I'm just like, I have this channel which I should have at least 10k subscribers mm-hmm. on. Like, if I've been consistent, if I was consistent from yeah. since day one, because the first like six months or whatever i was literally so consistent uploading like pretty much every single day um and it was gaining a lot of traction a lot of momentum and there's been a lot of songs that have come out that i just didn't react to and i was like dang i was thinking of reacting to that and i wanted to do it at midnight Mm -hmm. um but then you know i moved in with tyler in the apartment and it's like things being released at 12 a.m i'm like i can't record a reaction yeah because this dude's like sleeping Mm -hmm. um so that took a hit on everything um and originally moving back here i was like dang i'm really gonna start recording a lot more reactions because i have all this freedom Mm -hmm. to do so yeah and it took me a while i created like a couple yeah you did and i was excited about it but then i'm just like i don't really want to do this Mm -hmm. um so it's been like over two months since i've last uploaded um but anyway, so I was just like in a really weird place, but mm-hmm. going on this hike, it kind of reset me and gave me a lot more inspiration. Mm-hmm. And then this week, I'm literally just driving around at work, just like chilling. It's like the most beautiful day ever. Kids see ghosts in the background. Kids kids see ghosts in the background. I'm literally, probably the cutty montage on repeat, if I'm being honest. Mm-hmm. So I'm just driving and I'm just like, something came to me and I was like, you know, Logan Paul, the... Uh, 99 original thing yeah yeah that's super it's cool similar that. to that okay and i know like you saw the past couple of days i've been like writing yeah, yeah yeah i was like okay i'm gonna write a song for the next 30 days mm-hmm. and i'm not gonna release these songs for like forever for like a mm-hmm. year or whatever until i get this all done but i'm gonna write these 30 songs and in a year's time, two years' time, I'm going to release them as NFTs. Mm-hmm. Like, 30 NFTs. And then, you know, the people who buy them, like, they're going to be placed, like, either a bid or, like, a set price for each song. And people buy them. Yeah. And they get custom artwork depicting, like, the visual representation of the song. Oh, they get okay. my notes on the story behind the song. Mm-hmm. The word or whatever. Yeah. Um, they get the song, like, just personally, like, they own that song and it's not released on Spotify, iTunes. It's just mm. only for them. Okay. Um, but so I was not going to tell anybody this. I wasn't going to say this on the podcast because don't people steal your idea. <laughs> well, not just that they steal my idea. It's like, this is like something that would take a year plus yeah. because I was like, I would get an artist to do this, like create yeah. the artwork. But I was like, if I'm doing this, like, this is, these are my songs, like, these 30 days, these NFTs, this, like, part of me that's being released, I was like, I want my art to be there. But I suck at art. Yeah. <laughs> I can't draw. Take pictures. I can't paint or anything. So I was like, I would have to, like, practice art and get good at that. Mm-hmm. And I have to get good at producing and stuff. Yeah. Which I'm still going to be working on that, but that's going to take a lot of time for me to get good enough to be able to release music and it sound mm-hmm. professional and stuff. Yeah. Um, but not, not last night, but the night before Mm -hmm. I wrote this song. You sent me, I sent you lyrics, but you didn't hear it. No. And I literally, it was weird because I started writing and it was like hard to write at first, like really hard. And then all of a sudden two, three hours in, I just hit like a flow state Mm. and I, I started like playing this thing and singing and I was like, bro. I just picture hundreds, thousands of people just like singing along with this. Dang. Like, that's crazy. And I was like, 
this can't be a song that only one person hears. Mm-hmm. Like, you get what I'm saying? Out. Yeah. So now, plans have changed. I'm not doing that anymore. Even though that's actually a really good idea, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Okay. Um, I want like a lot more people to hear that yeah, rather yeah. than just a singular person having okay. that song. So what's the plan now? So now the plan is creating an album and actually, you know, becoming an artist and working on production and stuff so that I could do all that stuff. Okay. And then my YouTube channel will be like the progression around that. Yeah, the progression and just content will be all based around creating music. Um, and yeah. Learning. And you'll learn as you go. You know what I've always loved? I don't know if you ever seen it. It was a YouTube video and it was a guy playing ping pong every day for like oh, yeah, a yeah. certain amount of time. And you see the progression and then he ends up being like this incredible ping pong player. And that's what I imagine when you were saying you were going to be making YouTube videos on like learning yourself is you yeah. start off bad, but if you're maybe not recording, but working on it every day and, and, you know, jogging it down, it'll eventually be this crazy progression that people love. Yeah. And it's crazy too, because I've only written three songs yeah. okay. and I feel like Untied. all of them are fire. Yeah. Like. Yeah, my mama swore. That's the nickname for the song. That's not what the song's called. Yeah. We call it my mama swore because that's just what it's been for years. Like he's had this song for years. Yeah, it's been that like song is almost fire. four years. But you finished it now. That's yeah, almost it's like finished, finished written. Because I remember you hit a wall for a while. You're like, I don't know how to finish the song. Yeah. But you figure it out. But yeah, but I never like sat down and just did it because normally I sit and wait for something to come to me. And, not and I have a lot of things like just a chorus or something. Yeah, like a melody. Yeah. Just yeah. A and it, they're always like fire but I've never like actually sat and worked on them so I've only done one song and then parts of other things mm-hmm. but then I was like alright song a day for 30, 30 straight days mm-hmm. um, two days in I, I feel like I wrote two really fire tracks mm-hmm. um, so I'm excited about it I'm really excited about That's that dope. bro it's crazy cause it's so much different it's so crazy how we are so differently but we connect to music like similarly but I'm not creative like you um, like I don't get things in my head I can't sit and write I'm not lyrical at all but like <coughs> I feel like how we appreciate music is the same in the sense of like and people don't understand at yeah. all like how music connects to me and you in our lives it's it's something it's so undescribable but I know you'd understand what I'm saying yeah. it's like it's crazy yeah. like I'll show Caroline a song and I'll be like, isn't this amazing? Like, it's okay, it's good. I'm like, what? What do you mean? Bro. Like, you hear it? Like, um, Buzzhenge, for example. Yes. Bro, especially when it goes Buzz to... Buzzhenge, like, Circus eh, Survive, check bro, it out. Trust me. When it goes to, like, I guess it's, like, the breakdown or, like, the bridge. Bro, like, that, like, it just make. I don't even know. It's words. Bro. It's indescribable. That it's song is so, so good. good. That song is it, so wait, good. Wait, what is the one part, dude? When it goes, like... Hold on. I, I gotta got play this like really yeah, quietly speakers. because I don't want to get copyrighted. I do not want to get copyrighted. I I shouldn't, but <clears throat> you know yo, is. this is like if okay. So if you guys you guys definitely don't know Circus Survive, um, but <clears throat> they've been my fa- my favorite artist for for uh, a while. Yeah, since I like really started mm. listening to my to music, like mm-hmm. they've just been it for me. And the past two EPs they released. I feel like is some of their best work like they've ever done. Yeah. They did such a good job at mixing the electric drums yeah. with the regular with the Yeah, like, it's so cool. different from what they normally put out. Yeah. But when it goes back into this um hold on. Yeah, there we go. Hold on, I gotta go back like a the first chorus. Like listen to how this like sounds. When it goes back into this part. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Dude, yeah, that, part, yeah, that part just Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> the little guitar in the back. Dun, 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 and then it's just like... Mm. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Songs that like get you... Like, it's, you're almost inside the melody. Like, ugh, it's it's amazing. Bro, I can like... Li- oh my gosh, that part's so mm. good. But um, that That's actually so is a good segue. Because I meant to talk about this earlier, but then started talking about other things. Okay. Um, but I came up with this analogy when I was working, when I was thinking about Kids See Ghost, and this yeah. can, can go along with Circus Survive as well, because 
like I said, the sound is like way different from what they have normally done. Mm-hmm. Um, and it can be off putting at first, especially if you just love that band and stuff. It's like yeah. you love what they've created already, and then when they add something so new, you're just like, mm-hmm. dude, what is this? Yeah. Um, 21 Pilots every year. Fans yeah. Are hating. <laughs> that is true. Um, but it's like, let's say you are you just drive past like this tiny little house mm-hmm. every single day you don't think anything of it you know there's like overgrown like the grass is all overgrown mm-hmm. there's trees like it just looks decrepit just looks pretty freaking scuffed mm-hmm. and um you just drive past it every day you're just like whatever um one day you hear like a rumor like oh actually like it's really cool inside there it's abandoned like you mm-hmm. should check it out and the house looks really tiny like like a literal, like a tiny house, like mm-hmm. a literal tiny house, like yeah. the things that have like two hundred square feet or hundred yeah, square feet. Um, and one day you're just going about your business. You drive past. You're like, you know what? I'm like curious right now. I don't have much to do. Let me just check it out. You open yeah. the door. You see stairs that just go straight down. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's really dark. You can't really see anything. So you have two options. One option is be like. Uh, this is a little scary. Like, I don't know what's down there. It's dark. Yeah. I'm just going to go back and do my day, my day-to-day living. Nothing's going to change. I'm going to be fine. It's whatever. Mm-hmm. But you don't know what's down there. Mm-hmm. The second option would be like, okay, I'm kind of scared, but I'm curious, and I'm going to just check it out. Mm-hmm. And you choose the second option. Kanye took the second option. Circus Survive took the second option. 21 Pilots took the yeah. second option. All these creatives. They go down. Eventually, their eyes begin to adjust. And they start seeing like all these paintings on the wall. And it's just like really beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, they eventually get to the bottom. And it just opens up to this huge space. And there's just artwork. Everything's like so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's sort of it. Yeah. Like, you might get an idea and this happens to everyone not just in music but just literally any, in anything in life you get so used to just going um, on with your day to day life and then yeah. new ideas come to you and you don't do anything with it mm. because it's just like you're so comfortable where you're at you don't want to take the step yeah you don't want to take that step um, and then eventually that just fades out that curiosity whatever seed that was planted just Fade eventually away. dies dies yeah um but you have the option to either let it die or feed it and see what it becomes. And that thing could be something kind of terrible. Yeah. Or it can turn out to be something beautiful. Um, but either way, at least, like, you're still trying something. That's actually... It makes so much sense, too. Bro, literally... What was it? Maybe two weeks ago, last week, um, I started waking up earlier. That was, like, my thing. I did go to the gym some this week after Easter. My sleep schedule scuffed again. But I've still been waking up earlier. And when I was doing that, I was able to think like about stuff more because my job is, I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm not over it, but I'm like pretty much like, I need to progress in my life. I can't be here. I know I'm, I need to be doing more. I'm having an impact on something. Um, and I was kept thinking about, you know, and this has always been what I would think about ever since high school was streaming, streaming mm-hmm. content. And it wasn't content to just entertain because I don't want to just entertain. I want to impact people. And... I, in in my head, I've always been like, I hate how streamers are so against talking about religion, mm-hmm. politics, and you know, like important issues. Yeah. Right. They want to. They want to be an escape, but um, I want to be a mixture of an escape, but also like education and encouragement, because you know the Bible says how we're supposed to be building each other up and building people up, and so that's what I've always wanted to do. And the, especially the last two weeks, I'm like, dude, if I, I want to start streaming, I want to start like just bringing random people in, having conversation, like encouraging conversation with random people, meeting people, talking to them, sharing them about my faith, sharing them, um, and then just playing games with them. Mm-hmm. Like, and I was first, I was gonna do it like League of Legends, go into draft, put my Discord in, and say anyone want to have a conversation, I just do it on my stream, or whatever. And I was, that's what I've been thinking. That's about a good for idea. Weeks. That's a really good idea. Yeah. And I was going to do it not with just League, but like every game. And yeah. obviously there's a little things I have to worry about because there's some trolls that will just start dropping end bombs. And it's yeah. Like, oh. But so that's what I got to worry about. But right now I just like, like you said, it's, I feel like I want to take that step. But part of me is like, 
either it's so much work it could be laziness it could be fear it could be so i'm like in that boat yeah you know like approaching the house but am i gonna go down or am i just gonna turn away yeah so yeah that's my dang. idea so dang yeah well i i think you should obviously do it because that's a good idea yeah like that's like a and that's a space that isn't that hasn't been filled either yeah for sure like no one's doing that because it's it can be really risky definitely and risky. You can lose out on potential sponsorships, mm-hmm. yeah. potential partners, potential friends. Like some yeah. people will be like, "Oh, this guy has a different view than About me. Life. Like I'm just not gonna play with this person." Yeah. Um, but you know who you are, and yeah. people who know you know who you are. So it's like that doesn't yeah. even matter. And you've seen a wave of encouraging conversation coming uh, more and more, yeah. like over the years, especially. And it's like we need to like not just have good conversation about you know um hard topics and like things we could just have a conversation about like life you know conversation about um beliefs that aren't gonna like that's not political like that because you've seen so much conversation about political stuff and i could care less about that i want to have a conversation about like you know belief in god and things like that so that's what i want to do um and yeah we'll see how it goes you should definitely do it and just start like yeah i know and there's like now it's just like it like it's hard to get known yeah but at the same time it isn't yeah exactly. the reason it isn't is because we have so many resources like youtube and tiktok yeah TikTok. especially tiktok because was, yeah TikTok's, TikTok's automatically get views yeah automatically like whether it's 50 or 100 like you're getting views yeah like it's not like youtube where someone where someone has to click on the video yeah tiktok it's just it comes to them yeah automatically. exactly so using that um, to your advantage would you know you could really take that and bring it to the next level and yeah. like um, and obviously like I think that that's good like that sort of avenue is good for you because of just who like I know who you I and am. stuff uh, yeah I realized over the the years because I've been on and off streaming but when I was started right out of high school I was actually getting you know yeah and I was only streaming I wasn't posting that much YouTube well and, no wait hold on it's also the thing. Remember when you played with Rallied? Yeah, that that was good. And then did he he rated you right? Yeah, and I had like three hundred. You had like three hundred, four hundred viewers, and then you didn't My, stream. No, the internet. Remember the oh, internet yeah. cut out. That yeah, the and then it killed the vibe, and then I didn't stream after. Like, yeah, like the days after. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I do remember that, but you still didn't like. Yes, it cut out. Like that sucks, but you could have went back the next day and just streamed. streamed. Yeah, exactly. Because how many followers did you gain? Like I gained a lot. Well, I, I got to I got become affiliated, and then I eventually. Most people can't say this. I eventually got a check from Twitch. I got like 150 yeah. bucks, which was crazy. Even though it was like a year, <laughs> I was like, cool, let's go. Yeah. I did it. That was crazy. Um, and like also Fortnite was big at the time. It was super encouraging. To, it was super good to like random duo. And then that duo, would, he's, I'll be like, oh, I'm streaming. And usually it's a little kid and he hears you have a good mic. He's like, are you a streamer? <laughs> and you go, yeah, go on my stream and follow me. So yeah, I was able to get some... Uh, some good stuff but the problem is is i noticed i can't stream by i can't stream by myself like yeah. i need people to feed off of i need uh engagement yeah. and i don't want to not like my friends like kai and tj i could stream with them but i feel like i can't do the content i want to do when i'm playing with them so i haven't been i've been trying to figure out if i should stream or record and just like record stuff because recording yeah. would be fine too well i but, you know, I mean, we could talk about this more off camera, yeah, but yeah. like, um, obviously, I think Kai, well, you know how I feel about Kai. Like, Kai, I think, should stream 100%. Yeah, that guy, he's the funny, like, you see him in real life, you talk to him, you don't, like, he, he's not funny, but you start becoming friends with him, talking to him, he says the funniest things. Funniest yeah. one liners. He, he's sharp. And he's, he's just, fun. he's a vibe. Like, anytime, yeah. like, like I don't like League of Legends. But if I'm playing with Kai, I'll enjoy it's, it's myself. Fine. Yeah, for sure. So like, he's one of those. I think like, and TJ too. When he's in a good mood, yeah, he's freaking comedy. Now obviously, like, he, you can't he, play he Kai cur- with him anymore. <laughs> yeah. And he curses a lot. That's yeah. the issue. Kai doesn't. Yeah, but but you could like I don't just really talk care to about him. The yeah. Okay. Well, see. Yeah. So like, that's I'm fine. But bad. um, I think like you just do it because like I have like all these questions about m- music and stuff right now. Like. Yeah. I freaking suck at produ- producing, and I don't like it. But you just do. But it. I want to start learning it, and then eventually, 
mm-hmm. like maybe I'll start liking it once I get like accustomed to it and stuff. Yeah, for sure. And like, <clears throat> there's so like I don't. It'd be so easy. Like I would love to have a producer friend, mm-hmm. just go to his house and then create music or something like that. Yeah. But one, I don't. Yeah. Two, um, I hit up a dude on Instagram, and he was like, "Oh, I just do like," and he he gets like. A lot of people, he like produces a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. So I went to him and he was like, "Oh, I actually only do like trap music." Oh um, yeah. So I'm just like, and that's most producers now. They yeah. just use freaking Ableton, FL Studio, and they just make freaking trap songs. Yeah. Um, which you know that's fine. Like, but I'm sick. not a freaking trap artist. Trap artist. Yeah, I and feel like, like that's not like that's the least creative. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, like 100%. a four four just. Like the the songs that I'm like. That I came up with the past few days, I'm just like, yo, you this is a... so different. Like, I need like a real freaking producer, yeah, or I need to just learn how to do it myself, yeah. and then like create it and just use my own vision and do that. If you have infinite resources, it's like you're gonna have multiple instrumentalists. You're gonna have, you know, okay. yeah. But it's just, but gotta work with what we got. Yeah. So, I think, yeah, I'm gonna start working on music and like actually becoming an artist. Mm. And I think my YouTube now it's just gonna like document that process and there's so many Mm -hmm. different content ideas that I have that can go around it that would be really cool Mm. um and I don't think many people are doing it yeah so Uh, no definitely oh I forgot one thing the one thing I also thought of was having only conversations about music on Mondays like music Mondays and so have people come in and just share about music and what they listen to and then I'll like maybe put the song on my stream yeah um and that would be super cool but one thing I noticed is there's certain things on Twitch that like they'll they'll silence it on the rebroad and then some things they won't. Not the rebroad, but like the video. Yeah, yeah. And so a lot of the music I've been playing on Twitch has been music that I know they won't silence. Mm. So I could like probably try and go back and get it because that's so annoying how some songs they they silence. It makes sense, but there's the whole I don't understand the whole copyright thing with Twitch right now either. Yeah, it doesn't make sense because some people just get uh, striked and blocked. But some people I hear play music all the time. It doesn't matter. I so. think it's um like you could play music, but then you have to delete the VOD as soon oh, as you it. can't have clips. Yeah, you can't like pull okay. clips from so it, which sucks. So like, what you would have to do record. is record at the same time as you're streaming. But I don't think. Yeah. You need like two computers to do that. Yeah. Eh, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, you'll figure something. Music out. Mondays would be dope though, because there's so many things I listen to that I want so many people to listen to, like. Uh, John Bellion, like nobody knows, not nobody, but not that many people know John Bellion's music. And if yeah. you guys know who he is, his most popular songs all time low was like a few years ago, super popular. But like he has so many hits on the radio that he wrote, and then you go to his stuff, like his personal music, and it's like just masterpieces left and right. Everything is so good. Yeah, it's amazing. But him, um, you know, Twenty One Pilots. A lot of people know them now. But there's just so many like small artists I listen to that no one listens to. They're yeah, you do listen to a lot of like super low key artists. The spot. Spotify is really good at you being able to find like new music and just like small artists. Dude, that was another thing with my freaking reaction <laughs> channel was like I was not freaking listening to music to new music because I'm like, oh, I have a reaction oh, that was channel. So annoying. I might I might react to this in the future. I can't just listen to it. So like I would just listen to songs I already knew yeah. or songs that I already reacted to. Yeah. Just, dude, I you dude, didn't driver's license reaction get like a hundred k? No, 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 no. Which no. one got like close to a hundred k? Nothing got close to hundred k. My driver's license, I think, got like fifty k. I thought I had like eighty. No, I felt, no. I feel like you had a video that had a lot. No. Well, fifty sure? is a lot. Yeah, but I feel like you had one that was close to a hundred. No. No. No, no, no. Oh, because I know driver's license, bro. It's so funny how disconnected but connected I am to like the culture and like popular stuff. I'm so disconnected. Yeah, but I'm like in and out. Like there's a I try and stay like kind of intact with like social media and who's popular and stuff. And um but you knew I watched the high school musical show and I followed Olivia Rodrigo and I and I saw, you know, on her story about the song like a week before it was released. And I remember she put a snippet of it on piano, and I was like, yo, that song is like, inspired. <laughs> and it came out, and I saw how much buzz it was getting on, like, Twitter, and I, and I was like, Micah, you have to react to it. Yeah, react yeah. To it. And you react to it, and I was like, yes. That song's what was so funny, fun. too, is I didn't react to it until, like, a few days later. Yeah. Like, after it was released. Maybe, like, a week later, something like that. Dude, like you sold. If I reacted to that as soon as it came out, too, yeah, that would have been crazy. Because I, when I... 
I, I was and watching all the reactions. Okay, sorry, right, but right. like, if I'm being honest, like, I think, like, I watched. Uh, well, I haven't actually watched reaction videos recently, yeah. but I used to watch them all the time. Yeah. And I don't know when I was like watching reactions to that song, I'm just like, and comparing it to mine. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I you feel like mine that. is so fire. The thing about reaction videos. For me, like like you said, you're so limited, but it's it has there's like no creativity. Yeah, exactly. It's just yes. like you have to have the better best production, which most people have scuff setups. They're playing through a speaker with their yeah. camera, so it's like you already win that because you have a computer and a mic. Yeah, so it's like and a good camera. Yeah. It's in 4K. I have good lighting. And then all people are looking for is you to react at the moment they want you to react. Yeah. So it's like at this one part for for me at least. That, so it's yeah, like I'm the same. If yeah. if it's like if I listen to a re if I watch a reaction, it's because of one part in the song that I'm like I want to hear how they react to it. I'm trying to think of an example. Um, it'd be like Buzzhead at the part where it's like ah, ah, and people I would love people to react to that. Yeah, or just the bridge and driver's yeah. license. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So that's why reactions kind of suck. But I've also wanted to I was like yo what if me and Micah did it together I've thought of yeah. the time but at the same time it's like is this what we want to be known for yeah it's just reacting yeah when we're exactly like, when we care so much more about music than just listening to it and people yeah. seeing it like yeah right now too I know this podcast isn't gonna get many views yeah like I already know that but it's just a matter of doing it mm -hmm. and then staying consistent with it and then also like creating since i'm going to be creating a lot more content like around myself creating music and this is like going to be content that obviously isn't daily yeah. because it's going to be a lot more work than doing a reaction video mm -hmm. um like some things like i could probably do in a day but the editing will take a bit yeah. but then some things will be a span of 30 days yeah. like you know before like i actually release that piece of content yeah um but i do think that um with time these videos will do better than my reactions ever did yeah um and then this podcast or whatever which we've been wanting to do for a long too long <laughs> for it's way too, too long. long for way too long and honestly like they like this was a kind of scuffed podcast but i feel like it's actually still working out like yeah. i i ran out of topics <laughs> like i i barely wrote any topics i it's wrote funny. down one two three four five i wrote down five topics and we hit them all and we hit them all Okay, dude, you know what, I actually, this is a music question. We talked about this a little bit, but I had a conversation at work, so my, my co-worker is super into metal and rock music. Uh, he'll like 80s rock, so a little bit of modern rock, but it's mostly metal. He loves, and there's all these different subgenres of metal. He's so weird, so, some of these weirdo songs. But he was showing me some old rock and roll, and I'm listening to it, and I'm like, that's not rock. <laughs> So what I'm, I want to discuss is what is rock and why are genres trash? <laughs> because he's showing me, I'm, I said, so you're telling me freaking Imagine by, what's his name? It's John, John, John Lennon. Lennon. Imagine by John Lennon or freaking um, I don't know, any Beatles song that's like, you know, fun is a rock song? No, yeah. when you think of rock, you think of like something harder, makes your head bash. You think of like ACDC Thunder. You don't think of the beat. I don't think of the Beatles. Yeah. Rock. And dad was like, dad was siding with that. And I was like, that's not rock. And then I was, you were just like, genres suck. <laughs> yeah, genres do suck, but I think they um, develop over time as well. Yeah, for sure. Like, um, it's all about, oh my gosh, this is actually perfect. What? This is perfect that we're talking about time periods. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll get into that like after this, but um, no, yeah, it's all like time period stuff. Like, I agree, like, if I'm looking at that, I'm like, that's not rock. Yeah, but at um, the time. Yeah, like, from now. But at the time, that's what they knew as rock, so that's rock. Uh -huh. um, but, no, yeah, so things, like, developed over the years. And, like, you know what's crazy, too, is, like, they're listening to this music, and they're being like, I've never heard anything like this before. I know. And it's like, and they're probably, like, thinking, like, they can't envision what's coming next. Yeah. Just, like, we can't envision what's coming next. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting, though, because I'm... Like, from my perspective, like, I'm like, dude, we've gotten so far in terms of production, quality, and stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't think that production, I like, where can production go from here? Like, mm -hmm. I can't see the next, the next thing. Like, I feel like it's, 
the production quality is going to be the same thing. Because, like, you look years ago, 10 years ago, the production is nowhere near what it is now. Yeah. But, like... Do you think that's what they thought back then, too? Is like I feel like they, they probably go, had that thought. My even. thing is, is, there were definitely people, especially when computers came and they realized what a computer could do, that were like, this is how co- production is going to get better and better. But same with, like, phones. Like, a yeah. phone. Like... There was probably a point in time where like phones can get better, but we're at a point where I'm like, how do you besides like the the insides of a phone, can we make it better and like more yeah. usable or like you know? So it's it's the same thing. It's like how do we? Yeah, that it is crazy. But you put yourself back in the time when they had to record in like one take. They couldn't like keep recording yeah. the same thing. It's like so they think this is the best. Like and there's they no probably thing. did think it was the best. And this is not going any further. That's yeah. weird. But, like, it's so hard because, like, right now I'm just like, dude, I really feel like we can't take this further. I feel like that with technology. It's like, where are we going? You know? Obviously, we can advance in certain things, but it's like, at this point, I feel like we're at, we're plateauing. We're That's what I feel like, too. And, like, people are talking about, like, Neuralink and stuff. I just don't think it's possible. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think that you can actually link. Like, I don't think we could become part computer. Yeah. And someone asks like a crazy math problem we just solve it instantly yeah. i just don't think it's possible to connect a computer to our brains yeah well because also we think our how we think our minds is not just you know what's going on in our brain yeah you know um especially you know if you have any religion or any faith it's like your mind is unique and you, your conscious is unique it has nothing to do with like chemicals going off in your brain it's just how we think you know that's why everyone's different yeah um, so, yeah, I don't think that's possible either. Uh, yeah. It's definitely weird, though. For, for, but Elon's uh, a genius, so I wouldn't be surprised if he figures something out. But I think it would not be with humans, but, like, more with, like, AI. Advancing AI, I could see, like, crazy stuff happening. Yeah. No, AI for sure. Um, I mean, we've already seen it. Like, there have been a couple experiments where they, like, created this AI program. Mm-hmm. Um, like, two separate um, programs. Mm-hmm. And, like initially like they were doing all the things that we wanted to do yeah wanted them to do and envisioned but then they started talking to each other and communicating Mm -hmm. in a language we couldn't understand yep so then they had to just like disable the yeah they had to shut it down and stuff yeah (laughs) that's the thing is like (laughs) the matrix people think ai could get to a point where they'll take over i don't think because we have the off switch yeah there will never be a time where we could just not shut it off i think you know but you see there's a whole bunch of, like the Avengers was an oh, AI thing. Well, I think um, at the same time, I don't know because yeah. if it's AI, it's like its own separate intelligence. Yeah. And as it moves along, it just gets gains more and more knowledge just it, constantly. It like, what if it gets to, to the point where it's just like, all right, I'm gonna change the code. Self sustaining. I'm gonna change the code so that I can't be shut down. That's crazy. But like. I don't know, because I'm thinking, would there be something in AI where you could program it to where it, like, it has to be able to shut down? Like, no, that's what I'm saying, But though. if it keeps getting information... Because what realizing. is it? What is AI? Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's some sort of code. Like, yeah, it's a code, exactly. But, like, I think since it's its own intelligence, it can alter its own code. At some point, it will be able to. Yeah. But, um, yeah. But AI need The only thing is, like, it would need power since it's, it's you know, it's AI... It needs something, so it's like, if it's from a computer, you pull the plug, you know. Yeah. But if it, what if it gets to a point where it figures out how to self-sustain, like, but that would be humans giving it like solar panels, humans giving it its own way to always be turned on and never be able to get turned off. Yeah. But that would be that. Honestly, if we get to that point, that's that's our fault. Yeah. That's humanity failing. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is that Elon Musk actually. Um, like the when he talks about AI, it's yeah. always in like a negative way. He's like, I yeah. just see where it can lead to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I feel like he is right about that because it's like, it, like they started communicating in a different, in a different language. That's crazy. And like we don't we didn't know what they were saying. Like, imagine if they were having a conversation like this. Like, mm-hmm. what if they were literally just being like, dang, they they could shut us down. We need mm-hmm. to do something about this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um. So it's pretty wild. But, uh, like, when we mentioned the time period thing, remember the question I asked? What? Or the thought? I was just like, yo, we're oh, a slave stuck. to the oh, time yeah. period. 
Like, bro, when you say stuff like that, it just kills me. Especially around Izzy, I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> Where were we when you said that? I don't know. Were we here? Yeah, we were here. I oh, think. I, that John was so funny. Because you said that, and I was just like, oh my god. No, but like, if you think about it, it's like true. to be so introspective. <laughs> no, it's true. Like, think, yeah. think about this, guys, okay? Like, all that we know is based in our time period. And we can look at, like, the past... And that low key influences us, but just without realizing it. Mm-hmm. But like things that we're into right now, if you're a kid, what do you want to grow up to be? A YouTuber, influencer, yeah. a Twitch star, a, a TikTok person. Yeah. Like these are like probably like 90% of kids want to be those things. Mm-hmm. Back when I was a kid, I didn't. Athlete. Yeah, I just wanted to be a baseball player. Mm-hmm. Most people, they want to be an athlete or an astronaut, just like something. Completely separate from the internet space. Yeah, I feel um, like it's trend. It, it it curves so fast. Yes, but what I'm saying is the only reason that they're thinking that is because the time period. So if that same child was placed in 1950, 20, what are they going to be into? What would they have been into? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? So it's like we're actually just such a, do, yeah. a slave to the time period. We look at Kanye. Kanye is like so influential and it changed music like forever. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, like, we look at him like he's so creative, which he is, but he cause he can't be 90 years into the future because he just doesn't know what that is. He's literally in the present day, and he's taking things that he's seeing around him mm-hmm. and then creating through that. Yeah. You know, you get what I'm saying? So yeah, it's like, efficient. you can't be living in the past, and you can't just be living in the future. Like, yeah. you're just stuck there. Yeah. And it's just pretty, it's pretty wild to think about that. Like, what would I be into if I was born a hundred years from now? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, we've always said, like, you're, you are, you are because of, like, your environment, right? Yeah. And it's like, the things you're into is because of what you experience, like, younger. Like, for example, our parents put us in baseball. They didn't put us in football. They didn't let us play football. They didn't put us in soccer. So we are baseball kids. But what if they did put us in soccer? We would have been nasty, by the way. We would, I mean, we have good genes, good athletic genes, but, like... (laughs) That's why I've always, like, I wish I played volleyball. I wish I went with you to the volleyball practice. Because I remember you offered yes that years ago, and I said no. Because how addicted I was to advanced <laughs> warfare. Because I didn't yeah. make the baseball team. So dumb. I didn't make the baseball team. Well, and not, I, first of all, Nathan was good. Like, it wasn't his fault. I didn't make it. It was completely mine. <laughs> Comple- it is, completely it is, mine. Honestly, I'm glad I didn't, I, I didn't play. Because that team was scuffed anyway. But um, I was so addicted to advanced warfare, I said no. And then the next year I played volleyball and I ended up being a really good volleyball player. But I'm like, I, I thought, how good would I have been if I played one year earlier? Yeah. Nasty. I would have been <laughs> so nasty. Yeah. Oh. Um, but I think that's going to do it. I think we're probably we're like, we're like 50 something minutes. Okay. Um, cool. This is just the first episode. Obviously things are going to change. Are you cutting it or is it going to be full? It's going to be full. Okay. Um. Yeah, I was going to play my song and then just cut that part out just so that you could hear it, but I'm not going to do that. Why I'll not? just show you after. Oh, okay, okay. That's cool. Um, or I could do it now because, yo. <laughs> and then I could have your reaction to it. Okay, okay. So we're still a reaction channel. Yeah. <laughs> we're, still, we're still a reaction channel. Hopefully the food's here. Oh. It's, it's here, it's here. Um, it? Okay. Uh, so, Chinese school. you guys aren't going to hear this, but you're going to see Nathan's reaction. Um, <laughs> going to mute it. No, no, no. I'm just going to cut it, cut it out. Oh. I'm going to keep it going. Okay, okay. okay. Um, but By the way, when I react to things, I'm not that great. I'll be like, okay, that was good. Yeah. I'm not going to be, ooh. Um, so, okay. This was day two of writing, and this is... Journey. Journey. But... Fire up and out. Dude, that was he. That was he. But when it says... Bro, I just picture just like singing that in front of a crowd of people yeah. and everyone's just singing oh, that along. Dude. Bro, I, when I first wrote that, I started like jumping around, bro. I was like so excited. I was like, the, that is fire. The thing is, I feel like that, like, because the, the, the depth of the lyrics could have the same impact as like 21 Pilots. Like, you know how strong their fans are? Because how their fans connect. It's not really to the... It's to the music, but it's like the poetry within the music. It could be like that same way. 
like people that have the same thoughts as you that feel the same yeah. way also sorry to interrupt you but um uh, let's just try not to tap on the table just, oh yeah because it's my yeah yeah, right, keep going. yeah so that's what i was saying just people really are gonna love that thing love that thing no well, thanks but it's just like yeah, it's so good because it's just like oh my and then now gosh, you have bro. probably all how the production's gonna go in your head and you just gotta flush it that's out. what i'm saying but just I, like i just picture it singing that line and then there's just a crowd of people like just chanting that like that's, that's fire bro that's so fire yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, my gosh yeah. right. um but no yeah essentially it's it's about like um, I was gonna originally write because I was like working and then the the word that just kept pop- popping up in my head was journey mm-hmm. um, and trying and appreciating the journey because I'm oh I'm like a destination person yeah like I can see like the destination but I just hate the journey and like mm-hmm. I can I fantasize about the destination mm-hmm. yeah. but that's all I do is just fantasize about it the same um, and the journey is something that is just so off-putting and i was like okay i need to get to the place where i enjoy the journey Mm. and like work at it enjoy it and then like eventually like when i reach the destination i can look back and be like dang look at all the things that i accomplished all the things i went through Mm -hmm. but it's just like at the same time like i need to learn to appreciate it but like i don't want to do the journey i just want to be at the destination still like so if i if there's a shortcut i can take to reach that destination, I'm going to freaking it. do it. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. I don't nice. care if I'm missing out on an experience. Yeah. Like, I'm just going to skip it and take... If I was like... This is like Elisha, our brother Elisha, mm-hmm. using action replay and just cheating in games. Yeah, yeah, We would love that. Like, you want to just beat the game, like, as quick... Like, that's what I want to do, is just beat it as quickly as possible. Yeah, or get by with minimal for... effort. Yes. Get by with minimal effort. Exactly. <laughs> that, that I used to say that crap all the time. You did, yes. Get by with minimal effort. It's high school. With minimal effort. Duel. That was it. Yours was minimal. Mine was le- Mine was a little more. I tried a little. <laughs> yeah. I still didn't do great, but I tried way harder. Yeah. But um, that's going to do it for the podcast. Two peas in a pod. First episode down. Let's go. Um, you know, there's going to be more episodes to come, obviously. And we're going to, you know, uh, get more accustomed with it and really figure out the format. Yeah. Um, and it'll be a lot less scuffed. Even though I didn't think this was bad for a first podcast yeah. that we didn't talk about at all yeah. until we just got here. Literally, talk. I said, oh, Micah, what are we gonna talk about? And you're like, Well, the Kanye Kim thing. This was week. This was like maybe a month ago. The Kanye Kim thing happened. We could talk about that. I was like, Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was a while ago. But that would have been. We, there was so much with that too. Dude, I know. Because then there was about like it. there was Kanye and um, uh, Kid Cudi. Like, there was drama with that and stuff. Like, we could have talked about that, but I'm just like... Yeah. But, you know, this that's past. That's that's old news now. Okay, well, now for next time, I'll be able to, like, already prepare. Yo, Mike, I got this song. I yeah, yeah, yeah. That so, we'll both be a little bit more prepared. But I, st- I do think that this went really well for the first podcast. Also, if you made it to the end, thank you so much. Um, ask some questions down in the comments. I want to have, like, a, a portion where, you yeah. know, we're answering a question or something. Okay. Um, yeah. You could ask about like topics that you might want to hear next. You know, just anything uh, down in the comments below. But we appreciate you tuning in. Yep. Um, Nathan's socials will be down below. Yep. Um, Don't make fun of my hair, okay? <laughs> Don't make fun. <laughs> so bad. Dude. It's all good. Yeah, it's, it's all good. good. But yeah, um, this is. I feel like I wanted to say something else, but do you have hey. anything to say? No, thank you guys for watching. Um, we appreciate it, and we'll be bringing more soon. Yeah, and I'm excited for you to um, meet Nathan a lot, a lot more and get to know him better. Yeah, um, it'll be fun. Obviously, get to know me better as well because you just see me reacting to the things, but you can only go so far. Yo, okay. you know what we should do, bro? What? When the when we babysit the twins, we do a podcast while holding them. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that'd be great. Anyway, but, but anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. All obviously, I just said it, but just comment some questions down below, um, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Peace out, guys. Peace out, guys.